A quiet revolution in coastal defense is underway, as Swedish defense manufacturer Saab unveils its next-generation coastal defense missile system, built around the proven RBS-15 anti-ship missile. This new platform transforms traditional littoral defense by combining mobility, long-range precision, and modularity, offering nations an affordable and versatile way to secure their coastlines against increasingly sophisticated maritime threats. As naval budgets tighten and regional tensions rise, Saab's system aims to provide a credible deterrent while minimizing reliance on expensive surface combatants. The core innovation lies in the system's mobility and containerized design. Each launcher vehicle carries four RBS-15 missiles within a unit that matches the dimensions of a standard 20-foot ISO shipping container. This configuration allows rapid deployment, discrete concealment, and fast relocation, enabling coastal forces to adopt a shoot-and-scoot approach that significantly reduces vulnerability to counterattacks. Saab claims that the system can relocate within two minutes of firing, a tempo designed to confound enemy targeting efforts. Each launcher is equipped with a self-contained hydraulic power generator and onboard control systems, allowing the crew to operate either from inside the vehicle or remotely via tethered control stations, ensuring both safety and operational flexibility. The system's operational structure centers on a battery model, where multiple launcher vehicles coordinate with a mobile command post. This command node integrates with a variety of sensors, including shore-based radars, airborne surveillance platforms, drones, and naval monitoring systems, to generate precise targeting solutions. Additional dedicated sensor vehicles can provide local radar coverage and battle damage assessment, while logistics trucks equipped with cranes reload expended missile canisters in roughly 15 minutes. The combination of these elements creates a networked, agile defense capability that can respond rapidly to evolving maritime threats while remaining difficult for adversaries to locate and engage. Range and lethality are critical to the CDMS's strategic impact. The existing RBS-15 MK-3 missile offers a strike range exceeding 200 km, while the forthcoming MK-4 is expected to surpass 300 km. Both variants utilize a high subsonic, sea-skimming flight profile that minimizes exposure to enemy defenses and makes interception highly challenging. The MK-4 introduces software-defined guidance, enhanced resistance to electronic countermeasures, and an upgraded high-explosive warhead capable of one-hit kills against large surface combatants. Saab has also designed both missiles with a secondary land attack capability, providing operational flexibility that allows coastal forces to engage not only naval targets but also select shore-based objectives. The CDMS represents a shift in defensive strategy, transferring significant maritime control from fleets to the shore. Traditional naval defense relies heavily on surface combatants, which are costly to acquire and maintain. By contrast, the CDMS allows a small number of batteries to cover extensive stretches of coastline, effectively creating a high-risk environment for enemy vessels while demanding far fewer resources. The silent operational mode of each launcher until the moment of launch adds an additional layer of stealth, complicating reconnaissance and counterstrike efforts. For nations with limited naval resources, this combination of affordability, range, and survivability is particularly appealing. Modularity further extends the system's versatility. Launchers conform to standard container dimensions, making them compatible not only with land-based deployment but also with naval applications. Ships without permanent anti-ship armaments can be temporarily converted into missile platforms, including multipurpose vessels and auxiliary fleets. This approach allows militaries to scale their firepower in line with operational needs, reflecting a broader trend in modern defense toward flexible, plug-and-play systems that can be rapidly adapted to evolving threats. By incorporating modularity into both shore and ship configurations, Saab has positioned the CDMS as a solution capable of adjusting to diverse mission requirements without committing to costly platform upgrades or permanent installations. Interoperability is another key advantage for Saab and its clients. The RBS-15 family is currently fielded by several European navies, 
including Sweden, Finland, Germany, Poland, Bulgaria, and Croatia. This shared deployment creates a networked anti-ship ecosystem that can enhance collective security and regional deterrence. In particular, for areas such as the Baltic Sea, Saab's system raises the operational cost for potential aggressors and strengthens multinational defensive cohesion. The existing user base also simplifies training, logistics, and integration for new operators, making the system more attractive to countries seeking both cost efficiency and compatibility with NATO standard platforms. From a technical perspective, the CDMS balances mature missile design with modern command and control systems. Passive until activated, launchers emit no detectable signals that could compromise their positions, while mobile command nodes fuse data from multiple sensors to ensure accurate targeting. The inclusion of electronic counter-countermeasure capabilities in the MK4 ensures that the missile remains effective even in environments with active jamming or electronic warfare attempts. This networked, resilient architecture exemplifies a modern approach to coastal defense, emphasizing survivability, precision, and adaptability over brute force. Strategically, the CDMS empowers smaller and medium-sized powers to exert control over littoral zones in a cost-effective manner. By combining mobility, reach, and stealth, a handful of launcher batteries can deny adversaries access to key maritime corridors without relying on large, expensive fleets. This capability is particularly relevant as geopolitical tensions increase near contested waters and as the threat of asymmetric naval tactics grows. Coastal nations can now maintain a credible deterrent, projecting power over hundreds of kilometers while remaining agile enough to respond to dynamic operational environments. Nevertheless, the system has operational limitations. Shore-based missiles lack the global reach of carrier strike groups and are dependent on reliable intelligence and sensor networks to detect and track targets at long distances. The concentration of firepower along the coast can also create focal points for adversary suppression efforts. However, Saab's design mitigates many of these vulnerabilities through mobility, modularity, and the integration of advanced sensors. In practice, the advantages of cost-effectiveness, long-range strike capability, and operational flexibility often outweigh these potential drawbacks, particularly for nations prioritizing defensive control over littoral zones. Saab's introduction of the CDMS aligns with broader trends in military strategy, where smaller, more agile, and network systems increasingly complement or replace traditional platforms. By leveraging containerized launchers, rapid deployment, and network sensors, the system exemplifies a shift toward mission-tailored capabilities that can adapt to changing threat environments. In addition, the secondary land attack functionality of the RBS-15 missiles allows for further operational versatility, offering a multidimensional deterrent without requiring separate weapon systems. In essence, the coastal defense missile system represents more than a technological upgrade, it embodies a conceptual shift in maritime strategy. By enabling coastal forces to project credible deterrence from shorelines, Saab provides an affordable yet potent alternative to conventional naval power. The combination of long-range missiles, rapid shoot-and-scoot capabilities, modular deployment, and integration with existing sensor networks allows even nations with limited resources to effectively command littoral battle spaces. As the system gains traction among European and Indo-Pacific clients, its impact on regional security dynamics could be significant, redefining how nations defend their maritime approaches in an era of constrained budgets and growing naval threats. Ultimately, Saab CDMS demonstrates that the future of coastal defense lies not solely in large fleets and heavy warships but in smart, adaptable, and mobile systems that maximize firepower and survivability while minimizing costs. For nations seeking sovereignty over their littoral zones, the ability to deploy a highly effective missile platform capable of rapid relocation, precision strikes, and networked coordination offers a strategic advantage that cannot be ignored. In the evolving landscape of maritime conflict, the shoreline may now be as formidable as the open sea, thanks to the integration of mobility, modularity, and advanced missile technology in Saab's latest offering.